So it's the food called Gorilla and Lamb or the pub? No, the pub's... Gorilla and Lamb. This Wicked. is Cambridge Blue. And Cambridge Blue, there we go, OK. A couple of years ago, we rented out the kitchen space. Great. For, and then it just worked quite well. It's yeah. a seriously cool pub. Is it? I'm assuming it's quite an old uh, historic Cambridge pub, right? Yeah, 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 it's been it for years. The current owners had it coming on for 20 years. Wow. It's been a pub since the 1800s, I think. Really? Yeah. So that's the chicken. If the walls could talk. <laughs> so that's the chicken wings, the smash burger, and the gorilla fries. I think, I think we've done the. We did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a five for the drinks, guys. Oh, right, cool. I forgot about the drinks. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, mate. It's true, awesome. Do you want straw, no, Have you got any umbrellas for Callum or any like <laughs> those little, little cherry little cherries? Yeah. Sugar cherries? Up, 36 quid. There we go. Two burgers, wings, and fries. How's the um, how's the food been received? Because obviously the pictures were amazing. Oh, it was good. It was real good. Really good. Yeah. Because before we got them, we were just doing like microwave pies yeah, and yeah, chips yeah, and yeah. stuff. Like just the landlord was in the kitchen every day cooking yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And he was trying to get staff in to try and come and take over, but he could he was struggling. But he owns another pub down the road, who are the same company, but they do Greek food there. Uh, Satsikis it's called, the pub's called the Broad Standard. Mm -hmm. And it was working well there, so he was like, do you guys want to open up another restaurant in my in this pub? Yeah. And yeah, it's two years on, it's been going wow. well. The only problem we find is, nor, because I can't take orders for them, because they're a different company, mm -hmm. if I'm really busy, and people A bit can't, disjointed, maybe, like it, a bit, like bit of confusion. Like sometimes if people don't want to order on the QR code, but they're really busy, so there's no one to come out and take you to the order like yeah. that. And I'm just like, I'm sorry, it's nothing to do with me. Yeah, yeah, with yeah. That's the only time we get a problem with it. But okay. other than that, it's been perfect. And the food is good, top quality. Yeah, it looks, certainly looks good. Yeah. Um, these are, this sort of old, uh, old Cambridge pub looks amazing. Like, the old like, wooden backboards, kind of, and amazing sort of liquor and these fridges here. Look, Callum, you saw them? <laughs> Wow. All right, thank you. No worries, guys. It's like a proper... I've never been here before. I mean, uh, got lots of old sort of signs on the wall, kind of, as well, look. Sort of cigarette signs. Thank you. It's a good pub. You've it's been here before? Yeah, of course I have. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, yeah. ladies and gents, welcome back to Food Review, Bob. We found this... Look, I'll be honest with you, we're doing the local hype today. Callum's expecting a baby any... any day now, Callum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. obviously, we can't travel too far. In case Callum gets a phone call, so we're tapping up the local resource and Callum's found this that you bought an hour ago. Yep. And um, I think it's about time we start getting on some more uh, sort of British pubs, you know. Look at this. Yeah, it's a cool pub. It gets very busy. Is it? Yeah. Never been here. So I think what lured us in, bro, was the smash burger all yep. hanging out the sides and stuff, right? That's the picture you showed me this morning. And there it, is. it is literally that. These oh my god, that's so hard. What are these buns? Um, they are potato like buns. Are they Martin's ones? Yes. Literally the real deal ones? Yeah. Wow. All right. Um, thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it, bruv. I'll bring the other one out in 10 minutes. Thank you. You're that's the uh, other burger for TikTok. <laughs> um, Callum, first impressions. Ooh. Looks good. What are you, you saying, people? If you haven't um, liked and subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Um, we haven't done any sort of pubs like this for ages, and like I said, we're on, we're on the local thing today. And um, when you really want to look, you can find these places. This is like just a pop-up kitchen. How do people find this kind of? You know what I mean? Yeah, oh. that, <laughs> Wicked, they are the real ones. Yeah. What, they come over frozen and you, you defrost them, or? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really sure how they come over. My uh, chef uh, does what? it all, but yeah, he's American and stuff like that, so yeah. These are the, these are the LA, they're the, they're the real buns? Yeah. <laughs> all right, so, yeah. thanks bro. You're welcome. They are the real deal buns. That's like the uh, classic LA smash burger, so and I think. The geezer's American as well, he said, the if, chef. Did he say it, did he? So, obviously. If I was gonna draw you a picture of an LA smash burger, I've never had one, never been, love to go. If anyone wants to back that trip for us, get in, get in touch, please. Um, I heard the roads in LA are shite though. I've heard LA and California in general was not the place to go. Really? Because of the, the home Got a good burger scene, stuff. Though. Got a good burger scene though. Does it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right, let's talk in, let's get in, eating, shall yeah, we? Pick it up. Oh wow, that's amazing to touch. That is literally sm like smashed thin. That's hanging out, isn't that's it? That's hanging, mate. Oh. That is absolutely hanging. That whore's f***ing drawers, mate. Look at that. Um, 
I didn't even get what was in this. We just he came out and I just said, "Oh, I have the smash burger." I don't know. It's the classic smash wave. So I think it's like a special homemade sauce, gherkins. So it looks like some peppers there. It's just that I remember. It, I wow, not, this is probably most legitimate smash burger we've had on the page since Bun and Son, maybe. Maybe this is ten quid. Ten pound for this. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Double patty. No. Very salty. Okay. For me, too much. Really? Yeah, that is very salty. Okay. That is, that is salty, bro. Does look like. Is that salt on the side of it? Like extra bit of salt? Yeah. Yeah. You can see it, can't you? Yeah. Um, texture, the pickles, the sauce. The bun, great. The patties are really good. It's just very, very salty. Let's just get another bite just to see if that's maybe in a sausage or not. Okay. <laughs> it's so salty, bro. Really? Let me try it. I need to. Yeah, I'll be there. Just check that, some, check, give me a reality check. He's pulling faces. I was very sorry. Yeah. It is very sorry. Maybe a bit too much salt. Quite a lot too much salt. That is ri All the sodium. I haven't ever said that before. That's I feel like he's kind of like dropped it in salt, yeah. back accident or something. That's a shame. Good flavour though. We came, we always turn up with the best intentions possible and you guys know that. That's something that we really pride ourselves on. We could take so much shit for always giving good scores, but we just try and look for the, the best in people, the best in food, the best in situations, even if it's cheap. I try and say it's high value, you know, I'll do my best. That is way too sorry. Yeah. Nearly unedible. That could be. If I was a, am I a paying customer right now? I, I probably wouldn't finish the rest of that burger. Sorry, I am a paying customer right now. You've seen me pay. I, be, I won't, will not be finishing the rest of that burger. That's a shame. Without the salt though, good flavour. So yeah. the, the salt's just too overpowering. But you don't, I can't, yeah, you can't look past yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Next up, the chips. These look epic, bro. Crinkly cut, old school. Completely and utterly epic. Okay. I've got some chip spice on there. That salty parmesan works wonders. Really, really good. I'm a bit gutted about the burger, man. Yeah, me too. Looked good. I don't like doing this, but it is what it is, so I've got to be honest, right? Got Chips pork, are epic. Pork crackling on there as well, don't you? Looks like I've got pork in there. We've had extra for the pork. I can see. Okay, there's four or five bits in there. Oh well, look, here we go. No. No? Pork is really chewy. A bit flavourless. Can you, I need like you, you to verify me on that as well. Mm, a bit chewy, yeah. Not much flavour. Just not, I don't know. Chips are great. Don't order the pork, people. The wings, treble jointed. These are the buffalo. These are what I would describe as your classic beer wings. Yeah, sort of your beer wings. With a Frank's sauce. <laughs> They're all right. Um, Anticlimax kind of. Is that um, Frank's hot sauce? Uh, that's uh, Frank's? Not, not quite sure, but it's what we make it into, and it's the buffalo sauce. Cool. So I'm pretty sure it's Frank's sauce that goes in. And you make it, make some bit yourself. Yeah. Right, yeah. wicked. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it, it definitely tastes like a Frank's base. 
what he's, the way he's talking, you'd think it, they're putting some extra bits and bobs in there, but it definitely just tastes like rain. And we have it, Callum. A little bit underwhelmed by the burger. <coughs> From what I've seen online, up there certainly looks apart. It's got prowess, that classic LA look, the real LA potato, Martin's potato bun. Great sauce, loads of pickles on top, cheese in there, just completely overpowered with salt. I, uh, I've never had anything so salty. I love seasoning as well. No one uses enough salt. That is. It's a bit too much. It's, it's past, past enjoyable. Just unfortunate. Look the part, just. Yeah. Yeah. But the good, good news is, with a couple of tweaks, just bring that salt back. You've you got some decent food here. Like the chips, don't worry that pork's terrible. Chips are decent. Wings, are rock solid pub wings. Um, probably wouldn't go for the Franks again. Uh, the trouble is, he said at the bar, he said, oh, the, the buffalo's really, really good. I, I didn't think it would be a sort of a Frank's place. However, a lot of people doing that. He's a pub. So what do you expect? I'm just with a load of beers. This food would be absolutely delicious and it certainly looks the part like I just said. So let's go outside and have a little recap. So there we have it. The gorilla and lamb in the kitchen here at the Cambridge Blue. Um, I'll be honest. Looking at the pictures, I was expecting a little bit more than that. It was lacking a bit of... Uh, Finesse, a little, that little sort of last bit of detail. Um, I felt like my bun was slightly over toasted. It was rock hard. The potatoes, the potatoes, the Martin potato bun is not supposed to be like that, in my opinion. It was the, the, way too salty. The pork was crucified on those chips as well. When they were in like random big chunks, it just did, felt a little bit disjointed. Like good intentions, poor execution, in my opinion only. You guys might love it. Just putting it out there into the world. We've been to a lot of places, mind, and had a lot of different burgers. Some of the best in the UK. Um, fantastic pub. One of the coolest pubs I think I've seen on the inside. Loads of work, loads of um, sort of history to it. Felt nice, the guy was awesome inside as well. Food though, I think it's let it down today. Uh, we've got all sorts going on here. <laughs> Absolute. Try uh, to say, this area for pubs, brilliant. It's brilliant. You've got, you've got the Alex around the corner, Geldar, you've got Dobbers in, you've got Good part of Cambridge, right? Yeah, loads of pubs. We like this. Good old Classics. school, good old school boozers. Yeah, yeah, wicked. I got a lot of time for them as well. They're, they're struggling like mad, and I think I would have loved to have been standing here now, saying that we've just found the revolutionary, uh, revolutionary burger spot at the back of here. But I, I I'm feel a bit sad that I'm not able to do that. It was, it was okay. Time for a score. All things considered, price point two. How much was it? Thirty odd quid. Thirty six with two burgers. And and I got the drinks. Yeah. So forty. Yeah. Like forty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, time for a score. I, I don't feel like I can go more than like a six seven on that. Okay. Six seven. Great intentions. Poor execution. And it's a shame. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, don't often like to do this type of video, as you guys well know, but it is what it is. Um, yeah. I think we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, by the time this goes out, Callum might be a dad. Get in the comments, give him some, give him some, any dads out there right now, here we go. Any dads out there right now, drop your number one dad tip for Callum and I'm sure we'll get back to every single one of you in the comments. God bless. See us big daddy B, pubs and Matt on a mission. To find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavors, try different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?